Yeah, good evening. It's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Tuesday the 24th of September 2019. It's just my weekly video where I go over all of the pairs that I'm looking at and what I'm trading this week. And also have a quick look at the news and also the Facebook group, etc. and the spreadsheet. So let's go to the Facebook group. As you all know, we've got a JagFX private group on Facebook. Um, Four and a half thousand members. You can go through here, post all my trade setups every day, just about, and also any trade management goes in there. Uh, you'll find most of the stuff in the files folder on the left here. I have my um, shared spreadsheets, all my trade sheets, etc. So that's all in there. That's at the JagFX Forex Trading Made Easy. So that's in the Facebook group. Um, let's have a look at the so if you want to see the basically this is all the trade screenshots this is a folder I share on drive so there's probably hundreds of trade screenshots in there at the time or very close to thereafter when I've taken actual trade so plenty of transparency nothing hindsight there maybe in 15 minutes 20 minutes later but generally everything goes against me anyway uh, spreadsheet as you'll know I got sh I have shared spreadsheets you can see down the bottom there's all these different sheets here this is the main one the trade date time this is all done after I take the trade after I call it in the Facebook group uh, just looking at the spreadsheet if you see a blue that's been trades completed for a win if you see this ugly red color that's trades completed for a loss green that's trades completed for roughly break even as you can see here pretty close to it if you see yellow on this here that means there's been a partial close already so the trade's not been complete and white's obviously nothing's complete as yet see any red down here down under ma generally means against the trend higher risk trade so i think we're up to start date was 26th of june which is roughly three months ago just about three months of the day and we're up to trade 256 at the moment. So it's not too bad, plenty of action, plenty of trades on the daily charts, trading plenty of pairs. As you can see here, here's all the pairs I'm trading. I'm just trying to get individual results. I've just tidied this up a bit and put an alphabetical order with gold and silver, the two metals at the end here. Uh, there's a overall pips. I'm not sure how accurate this number is. It will be pretty close, but if you want to add all them up, you'll probably get that. And you can um, there's a profit and loss that's all based on a um, a base lot of 0 0.02 so it's not a big not big position trading three months that's all right on 0 0.02 so it's not too bad obviously we've got open trades so let's go and have a look at the charts this is my profile all the daily charts here and we'll start and go through each pair all right we've got the pound yen just to run through what we're looking at here <coughs> pardon me um, red lines generally mean bearish blue lines mean bullish so when you see red line like this and that red that's the intersection there is the entry for the sell blue entry for the buy any yellow dashed lines are break-even levels there's probably two on a lot of charts you have an overall break-even which I'll show the the amount of lots so I'm either positive or negative and I'll have a probably a higher probability break even. So as you, you can see here, we've had a HP sell, high probability, followed by a hedge buy and a mod MACD buy on the same candle, which is in here, and a second HP sell there. So we're just a price is just above the two break even levels at the moment, which is fine. We've got plenty of wiggle room. That's a pound pair, which are a bit of a dog. So you can pause the video or slow it down or even if you want to speed it up if you can understand me okay uh, you can read my notes generally I'll try to keep the trades in some sort of chronological order and I'll make notes of divergence etc uh, you'll see red trend lines green trend lines green is bullish red is bearish obviously if you see any blue ones it generally means just something that's interests me so we'll move on 
So it's looking all right in the pound yen. Uh, USD CAD in a Mod MACD buy up here. So we're down below price at the moment. But the fast MACD is still above the zero level. So we're still in this trade. Nothing else happening. AusCAD in a few trades here. It can read HP sell. Um, then there's a hedge buy in here. So we had to sell here, buy there. I'm just showing you on the MACD platinum so you get an idea where the trades are. And a second sell here for 0 0.06. And we've gone through the break even levels. And we've also got a mod MACD sell in here also. So a fair bit happening. Um, so there's we're prices below both of the break even le levels at the moment. I think the, the Aussie and the New Zealand pairs are going to turn up anyway, but we'll see if we can get a few pips out of that. Euro New Zealand. Uh, I think I might be stopped out on this. Let's have a quick look, make the chart a bit bigger. So I took a HP buy here, already closed half, put my stop up here, and I'll say looking at that tonight, I haven't checked where the um, my, uh, my um, trade terminal yet, but I'll say that's been stopped out, that buy, and I'm still on a H, uh, Mod MACD buy. So we're making plenty of pips on this pair, which is not too bad. I'll check that and update that later if that's the case. You got this, see this is a blue trend line across the top here. That's a real strong level of um, resistance there. One, two, three, you could probably call it a triple top. And even probably divergence there. We've got the high up here and this is not, not even gonna break the zero line or close to it. So it's the Euro New Zealand, CAD Swiss, what am I in here? Still on the Mod MACD buy, which I've already closed half, and a HP sell here. And it's going down nicely. There's my overall break even all the way up there. It's negative, so as long as price is below the break even, that's good. As we probably tomorrow looking at that fast MACD, and if price closed below the 25 SMA, then we'll probably be reversing that MM buy to a sell. Uh, New Zealand CAD, like I said, a few of these New Zealand pairs are starting to head up, uh, and a few trades here. Didn't quite get to my overall break-even level. The HP sequence is hedged, so we've got a sell. Oh, sorry, sell. We've got an individual sell. That's a standalone sell because that's got a stop in place here. You can read my notes up there. And I'll take my HP buy in here, which is that level down here. Hedge sell, second buy. Sort of went up, but didn't go up high enough. Rolled over, and I took a HP hedge uh, second second hedge sell. So the HP trades are hedged, and there should be a Mod MACD sell on this one. Yeah, the Mod MACD um, sell and the HP second hedge sell were on the same candle. And that was my overall break-in level. Didn't quite make it, and as you can see, I've started to draw lines in. Divergence lines possibly forming, but haven't been confirmed yet. So it might reverse to a buy. But looking all right at the moment. Aussie yen in a sell, HP sell. I was looking at taking a, M, a Mod MACD sell, but there wasn't enough criteria met as price didn't close below the 25 SMA in a HP sell. <coughs> going all right. The MACD is still above the zero level, so we'll just wait and see how that pans out. Euro CAD. I'm in a HP buy, which is back here. Sort of didn't really do much. Didn't really give me much of an opportunity to get out, even though the MACD crossed through the zero level and a mod MACD sell. So I'm currently hedged at the moment, locking in a small loss between those two trades. So just a matter of waiting for something else to happen. New Zealand, USD, you know, an old sell back here. There's that stop in place. Took another sell, HP sell in here. Uh, already closed half of that and stops at the same level as this other cell. So I've got two standalone HP cells on and a mod MACD cell. So that gives me my overall break even all the way up here, which is good, and minus 0 0.04.
So I'm thinking this might turn up. You can see the regular bullish divergence start to form. It still has to be confirmed, but we'll wait and see. Aussie Swiss, HP cell here, and the MMLs, Mod MACD cell right behind it. Both going down. Obviously, the both the 0 0.02, therefore, the overall break evens right smack bang in the middle of them. So just below the entry prices at the moment, which is good. Euro Swiss, what's happening there? Overall break evens up here, which is good, and we're negative, so. Oh no, we're positive. No, not good. <laughs> My apologies. All right, let's have a look. Took a buy here, already closed out a part of it, and down a 0 0.10 lot with a stop down here. Looks like that might get taken out. That was a buy, there's a stop there, we've already taken some profit. And HP, uh, Mod MACD buy is all the way up here, which it looks like it's going to be reversed tomorrow for a loss. And a HP cell, so something's going right because that's in here. So that's getting down nicely, and that's going fine. So what we're losing probably on the Mod MACD trade, we'll make it up on the HP cell. It's all about balancing it and trying to make some profit on both directions. Swiss franc, Japanese yen. This is the one without the Mod MACD, and it's doing absolutely zero. Possibly setting up for a sell, but. Nothing to get excited about yet. Euro yen took a buy. So that's a mod MACD buy. Already closed half of that. And it looks like got a reverse on that possibly tomorrow, depending on where the price finishes below the 25 SMA, SMA or not. And this cross on the fast MACD is confirmed. Also took a HP sell, which is up here. Overall break even, I'm at minus one because I'm two short and one long. So it's minus 0.01, puts my break even just above both the entries there, which is good. Keep on trucking. USD, Japanese yen. Took a buy back here, that's HP buy. That's Already closed half, got a stop in place where price is getting close to it now. No big deal. Followed by a Mod MACD buy, which is at this level where price is just above at the moment. That's fine. Getting close to a probably a reversal. And a sell, HP sell up here. So overall hedge, so there's no overall break even. Just trying to make some money out of all the trades if I can. Um, so yeah, the sell's heading down, the MACD platinum's still above the zero level. You can read, like had regular bullish divergence, regular bullish divergence, you can see the notes there, followed by hidden bearish divergence, hidden bearish divergence. So it's all clearly marked on the charts. All right, here comes the problem child, Euro USD. I'm starting to lose track of how many trades I've got on this pair. Still my head in. Uh, overall break even levels are up here, which looks like a long way away, but this thing could spike up in a heart if, heartbeat if I had to. Um, you can look at this little cluster on the fast MACD here. Just stuff me around a lot. Only 27 pips down, but I've got a lot of open trades at the moment. A lot of so we're down a bit there. Hopefully we'll just slowly work our way out of it. As everyone knows, Euro USD is not my favourite pair to trade. All right, Aussie New Zealand. This is doing. We're on a HP buy from back here, followed by Mod MACD buy back here. There's the HP buy stop up there. Price is getting close to it now, so you can read all my notes. Uh, we've closed obviously half on the Aussie uh, the HP buy, and we've also closed half on the Mod MACD buy. So, and followed by a high probability sell this morning. So that's that one there, that's going down nicely in the right direction, so life's looking all right in that pair. Pound Aussie, now this is a problem pair, like a few of the pound pairs are. Now uh, what have we got here? We got, took a sell, HP sell here, followed by a second sell, and it did, I'm not sure if it went to my overall break even for the two, it might have, but it bounced straight back up. Um, and as the MACD was a long way above the zero level, I 
didn't really get the opportunity to get out of that. Uh, this has since been followed by a Mod Mac D buy. Now, you'll probably see some strange notes on here. This chart actually went missing off my profile, and hence I missed all this action on the fast MACD, which would have got me out of that mod MACD buy. May have got me in a reversal, and then it would have been another buy, so I would have taken a couple of losses in there. It wasn't a couple of days later, I was checking all my notes, and I found that I was, the chart was actually missing completely. And you can see here, I blame the kitten. We have a small kitten, foster, uh, like a foster thing that we're looking after for about four weeks and it's got a real bad habit of walking across my laptop which is doing my head in and I think it might have deleted this chart but we're all back on track now and so basically now we've got possible um, regular bearish divergence forming as it, just like always got to be confirmed and we'll try and get a second sell another sell um, HP sell trade a third one down see if we can bring it down and get a better uh, get some, recover some of this loss and get get sort this out euro pound in a couple of cells back here HP and a mod MACD there's a HP um, stop level so both looking good at the moment it's gone look at that that mod MACD platinum is just going flat you can see that's going down so it's yeah more bullish probably divergence forming there it's been it's, it's a strange pair to pet strange pair to trade sometimes the euro pound but we're looking good euro aussie took a buy what was that hp buy shot up nicely uh, still above that entry level and i took a mod macd buy and Price is now below it. There's obviously 0 0.02 and 0 0.02, so my overall break even's right smack bang in the middle. So I'm probably just below overall break even at the moment. I'm making a few pips on this pair, so it's just a matter of being patient and seeing what happens. It trends fairly nicely, so doing all right. So we'll just wait and see how that pans out. Nothing to get too concerned about. Aussie USD and HP sell for two. MACD still above the zero level, hence nothing's being done. Then a MACD sell a couple of days ago, Friday. I'm oh, sorry, mod MACD sell. So we're minus four and price is at my overall break even at the moment as I, as I record this. Uh, pound CAD. What have we got here? So uh, there's the overall break even all the way up there, which is not something I'm expecting to get to. I'll probably, I'll probably roll over before then. What have we got? Got a HP sell followed by a HP hedge buy, which is that one there. And that was also a Mod MACD buy. Hang on a sec, I'm not sure what I've... No, all right, let's do this again. HP sell followed by mod MACD buy followed by a hedge HP buy it's just not naught on the so yeah that's that that's a hedge there so now looking for a sell possibly bearish divergence and we'll run it down that's the plan CAD yen uh, mod MACD buy first up I think uh, already closed half of that yep and then followed by HP sell, which is going all right. There's my overall break in the yellow dotted line with negative one, so prices below it, we're doing well. Pound Swiss, took a Mod MACD buy all the way back here, already closed half of that. Took a HP sell, followed up by a HP hedge buy, followed by a second sell, that was today break-even levels both the HP you can see here is there 22066 and the um, overall break-even levels just above it that read it there so not going too bad at the moment there was some action on the in the UK courts today apparently the High Court I'm not sure what how it all works over there but the High Court deemed that the 
suspension of parliament was illegal so there should be there might be some fallout there with regards to how everything pans out on the pound pairs i'll be glad to see the back of this brexit i tell you new zealand swiss franc in a cell all the way back here that's it stopped there so it's hp cell then we followed by our second hp cell up here and i think no i haven't done anything there and i probably should look at oh no mac MACD platinum still above the zero level, no drama. Um, then I took a mod MACD cell last week here, so we're short minus 0 0.05 overall break it even levels up here, so we're still under that. <coughs> this blue trend line here, big support level again, possibly a triple top uh, bottom, so it might hold support there. As I said, a few that looks like a few of the Kiwi. Um, Pairs are starting to head up. USD, Swiss franc, took a sell back here, went against me big time, drew this trend line here. This morning, had a clear break of this trend line, took a second sell. There's a break even level for that, that yellow. So I've got two trades on basically, no protection at all. And looks like it's at the break even level, overall break even level now. It's a bit ugly, and we might get my close to getting a mod macd sell signal sometime as long as price closes below the 25 sma and we confirm cross on the fast macd uh, what else we got we've got a few more pairs to go pound new zealand um i think this is all hedge dip took a sell back here hedge buy followed by another second sell a second hedge buy you can read all my notes so looking for a third sell i've had hidden bearish divergence there then we've got a, like a double top and here now we've got regular <laughs> bearish divergence forming has to be confirmed though and hopefully we can get some pips and work our way out of this one pound pairs do my head in and talk about pound pound usd a lot of trades again made a few pips on at least the, the usd now you can read my notes we're gonna buy we're gonna sell we're gonna buy i've taken some trades off the table on this too so um had like a reverse uh what do you call it like initially went from buys now i'm looking at going to sell so just the way See, my next trade will be a sell, so that'll break that hedge. So I've basically pivoted on what my thoughts are. The MACD platinum is well above the zero level, so looking to bring it to the downside now. In the meantime, I think there's a mod MACD buy in there too, so it sort of gives us a little bit of, just cuts, cuts a bit of the slack from me. Another New Zealand pair that's possibly reversing, not convincing. HP sell, MACD's platinum still above the zero level hence i haven't removed any i haven't taken any partial yet and followed by a mod macd sell on friday by looks overall break even in the middle and price is just below at the moment gold yeah took a bit of a hit on this yesterday or today on my mod macd trades but everything seems to reverse, so we're in a HP buy, and this morning took another mod MACD buy trade. There's um, hidden bullish divergence there, as you can see, and it's starting to head up nicely. There's my overall break even level, so not doing too bad. Silver, same sort of deal, took a bit of a hit on silver. Now, uh, HP buy and mod MACD buy on the same candle, so my. So we're plus 0 0.04 overall break evens on the basically on the point of entry, but one zero point one pip between the two of them, so it's right in the middle. So that's all the pairs I'm looking at. I know it's not very exciting looking at all them, but it gives you an idea where we're at. Uh, if you're wondering where trade certain trades were, as I only trade post my trade screenshots, but I do I do call all the um, any trade management in the Facebook group and in the Telegram group. Uh, one thing I did have, we didn't have a quick look at was the news of the week. Just got the old trusty Forex factory calendar. 
Next news, probably a, a, maybe a mover. For me, this is my local time, so it's 9 a.m. tomorrow, Wednesday the 25th. That's the New Zealand interest rate, official cash rate. Not expecting a change, but it may move the New Zealand pairs a bit. Crude oil from the US from uh, later that night, and we've got a final GDP on Thursday. Draghi speaks, Tani speaks, then core durable goods on Friday, and personal spending. So that's about it for the week. Not really much happening. Just that Kiwi one you want to be sort of aware of. So that's about it, guys. Um, hopefully, it gives you a fair idea where we're at on the trades. Everything's going all right. It's a couple of pairs caused me some grief, but having said that, there's other pairs that make up from. So, so looking at the big picture, as I always say. So thanks for watching. Um, thanks to everyone that subscribed to the YouTube channel. Thanks to anyone that joined the Facebook group or the Telegram group. Always appreciated. If you do like do like these videos, please give it a thumbs up, and that'll be great. And that's about me done for the night. So um, we'll get back on it tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock, when I get up and check all these charts again. All right, enjoy the night all, and thanks for watching.